guys, it's Caitlin, and today I have another unboxing video for you guys. I teamed up with my friend Lisa, who lives in Canada, and we sent each other our favorite vegan products. The two things that I love the most in life are food and friendships, and so if you're wondering if you can ever have too many food exchanges with your friends, the answer is no. Okay, so here is the box that Lisa sent me. It sounds nice and full of goodies, so I'm going to go ahead and open it, and we'll see what's inside. Okay, I think I just embarrassed myself. Okay, so she sent me a letter and I'm going to read it really quickly and I think it describes everything that's in the box. So the first air is crispy seaweed strips. I hope you like spicy. Oh my gosh, they're wasabi. Yes, I love spicy food and I love wasabi. I'm super excited for these. I'm actually filming this at a perfect time because I just got back from class and I'm starving. So I'm super excited to try all of these. Next. There are dried apple rings. And she says, dried fruit symbolizes my life in uni. That's very true, actually. I love dried fruit. It's very easy to snack on and take with you when you go to class. And then there is chestnut silver package. It's supposed to taste like a dense sweet potato, but they vary in every package. Next, snap peas. Yes, okay, it's so funny because I actually sent her some snap peas too, but they're from a different brand but these are awesome. Next, there are blueberry palm clusters and almond cashew clusters. Aww, they look so cute. These would be like perfect on banana ice cream, I feel like, because I like the crunchy combination. She says, clusters speaks for itself. Very true, Lisa. Next, there is a Kasuma chocolate peanut butter bar, and she says the the brand of this bar is currently her favorite, and peanut butter is life. And I agree, peanut butter is also life. But so is avocado, bread, sriracha, and sweet potatoes. So I'll just live a life full of all of those things, and that's okay, right? This looks really good. It has tapioca syrup, peanut butter, oats, flax seeds, sprouted brown rice protein, dates, dark chocolate, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, vanilla extract, and Himalayan salt. Sounds delicious. Next, there is a dark chocolate cherry cliff bar, and I love dark chocolate and I love cherries, so it's like she knows me. But she says, this is really bomb on Nana ice cream, especially with frozen cherries. Definitely going to be trying that out. And next, there is a cocoa coconut chew Lara bar. I've actually never seen this flavor before. Oh, it's also interesting because she lives in Canada, and I feel like they speak a lot more French there, so they have French on a lot of their labels, but in the United States, I'm like 95% sure that there is no French at the bottom. Actually, I'm going to check. I was right. See, ours just has English, and hers has English and French. I don't know if it's going to focus. Can you see? Canadian, American. American, Canadian. There is a... Brazil Nut Orange Bar by Made Good. She says, if anyone asks where you get selenium on a vegan diet. Okay, the next thing says a maple lolly. She threw this in because maple syrup is where I'm from. Merp, eh? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's like a little maple leaf. She says, okay, now for the weird stuff. And a lot of this is in an Asian language. I'm sorry, I don't want to sound culturally insensitive, but it's hard for me to tell the difference between them. So hopefully I can guess what is what. So the first thing says lemon ginger thingy. It's like crystallized ginger but stronger. I ate this when I was sick a lot. Oh, okay. This one says lemon ginger, so I got it. It looks cute. It's just ginger mostly. Okay, and I love ginger, so I'm very excited to try it. If it's stronger than ginger, then I'm down. Next thing says Chinese date. Um... I'm not sure which one it is. I guess maybe it's this. I think it's this. It's a red wrapper and it kind of looks like there's fruit on the bottom. So it's very interesting. Next says grapefruit jelly. This jelly is made from konyaku or konyuku, root veg. Okay, she says uh, this one is cool for her. Combine the pink and white block. There's instructions. 
She says it's an instant dish really popular in Japan and one of her favorite desserts. The white block is mochi. Oh, I love mochi. And the pink is azuki beans. Okay, so now I'm going to pick some things to try. I want to try a chestnut. Oh, oh, they're already shelled. They smell kind of like beans. Is that weird? Oh, well. Hmm. It kind of does taste like a sweet potato. It's a little dry. But it's still really good. Yeah. Next, I'm going to try this Chinese date. I hope this is the date. Aw, it's so cute and mini. Kind of has a texture of like a maraschino cherry. I'm going to try half of it. Oh, this one is soft like medjool dates, but it kind of tastes more like honey, like a degolet and more date or something. I just put it on a pit. Next, I'm going to try these wasabi seaweed strips. Oh, there's like sesame seeds on them too. Mmm. These are really good. As I continue to like stuff my face with them. So I think for the last thing, I'm very curious, and even though it's the afternoon, I haven't had dinner yet, I think I'm going to make this and see how it comes out. Okay, so she says I have to microwave this in a small bowl for 20 seconds, and then for this, I have to put it in a small bowl and add 100 milliliters of boiling water. Except I live in the United States and we don't use the metric system, so I'm going to have to look that up and figure out what that is in ounces or cups. Okay, so I decided to cut everything in half so I can enjoy it twice. So I have to microwave this for 20 seconds. So I'm going to do that in here. And then I'm going to put this in here and add boiling water to it. But first I'm going to microwave that. Okay. I don't know if it exploded or not, but that's what it looks like. And I have my thingy here. And 100 milliliters is short of a half of a cup. Fourth of a cup of water to it, so I'm cutting it in half. It's actually a little less than a fourth of a cup because a fourth of a cup is 60 milliliters. What? Okay, I broke a little piece off. So like that, I'm gonna grab some of the bean things and let's see. I put them on my face. Hmm. It's actually quite delicious. Kind of looks like the inside of a toilet bowl, but it tastes really good. I would recommend it. Thank you so much, Lisa. This was all really cool, and I like the like little miscellaneous things. They're pretty cool to try. So Lisa Alks has a YouTube as well, and she's going to make a video of her unboxing my box. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link on the screen right now. She's a really cool girl, and I think she's hilarious, and she also has a really awesome Instagram. So I will link that in the down bar of this video as well. Yep. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.